Most people assume that most of the aging process is in fact due to genes, but no, a huge chunk, 70 to 80%, is actually due to environmental factors. In other words, things that are within our control. I think we all pretty much know that diet and physical activity make a difference to healthy, longer lifespan. But some unexpected factors might surprise you. For example, friendship is important for healthy lifespan. The quality of friendship and the frequency of engaging with friends is very important and it's been shown to reduce inflammation and therefore influence biological aging. Another factor is laughter, having a good laugh. Children laugh something like 400 times a day, but as we get older, we don't laugh as much. Having a good laugh can actually reduce stress levels, both autonomic system related, that's nervous system related stress levels, and hormones, circulating stress hormones. And actually, can decrease in people who have had a heart attack the recurrence of subsequent heart attacks. So make an effort to have a good laugh, however you do it. Laughter is the best medicine. Sleep matters. It's important to try and get a good night's sleep, usually between seven and nine hours. Too little or too much is not good for brain function and for heart function. Now, sleep is more disrupted with aging, but there are ways that we can manage sleep and help to ensure we get a better night's sleep. And it really is important. During sleep, our immune system through a sticky agent called integrin is released. And that helps killer T cells to fight viruses which might be attacking us at that time. So sleep helps at a biological level. Cold water, a cold water shower, cold water swimming, actually wakens up our biological system through a process called permiasis, which is very beneficial for slowing down negative or toxic aging processes in the cell and stimulating positive biological pathways in the cell. So if you can, cold water shower every morning will make a difference and helps with immune responses to infection as well as reducing the consequences of depression and helping you have a lighter, better mood. Really, this isn't about extending lifespan. It's about extending healthy lifespan and therefore compressing or reducing the period of time we spend with illness or disability at the end of life so that we can have a longer, happier, better quality of life and independence for much longer for whatever years we live.